the thruster type you choose will have a major impact on how you lay out your vessel. Ion thrusters are the easiest to build into a ship. They only require clearance on one end and don't have fuel requirements. The trade-off is they don't function well in atmosphere. They still provide some thrust, but it's really not worth their weight. So vessels that regularly transition from planet to space, such as shuttles, may often have ion thrusters but will have supplementary thruster types whilst in atmosphere. Out of the three types, ion is the least powerful. Any vessels primarily spacebound that don't require to accelerate quickly would be ideal for this thruster type. Vessels such as mining barges, freighters, small shuttles, drones, space stations and more. Ion can also be used in a hybrid arrangement with hydrogen to boost a ship's manoeuvrability. As the name implies, these thrusters actually only work in atmosphere, unlike ion which do slightly fire in atmosphere. Atmospheric thrusters sit right between ion and hydrogen in terms of thruster output and don't require any fuel, making them an ideal choice for any planet-bound vessels or frequent atmospheric flyers. They also require clearance just above the intake fan, one block spacing, which is something to keep in mind when building and can make cramming more of them into a hull slightly more difficult as you also can't attach them by this end. Recently we received the flat atmospheric thrusters, they take up less space than their larger counterparts but will produce less thrust. With their smaller profile however, they are far easier to dot around a ship to provide extra thrust where needed or for powering smaller craft. Pure atmospheric crafts like drones, frequent atmospheric flyers or even some rovers would benefit from having atmospheric thrusters. Hydrogen thrusters work both inside and outside of atmosphere, making them extremely useful for ships frequently transitioning. Also, they are the most powerful of the thrusters, enabling vessels to accelerate more quickly. However, they require a constant flow of hydrogen as fuel for the thrusters. This also means that unlike the two other thruster types, Hydrogen thrusters need to be conveyed. These conveyor lines can take up large amounts of interior space in large ships and increase the size of smaller vessels you're building along with the storage for the hydrogen to fuel them. Hydrogen thrusters are best used on warships, shuttlecraft and even heavy industrial vessels that carry large payloads.